guys, today I'm going to be talking about how to build number sense using 10 frames. A 10 frame is a simple mathematical tool that allows your students to see, visualize, and represent numbers in multiple ways. So you might be thinking like, Marcy, you said the word number sense or the term number sense. What is that? Well, number sense is when your students can identify numbers and their values in multiple ways. And over time, your student's ability to recognize numbers in multiple ways is going to boost their mathematical comprehension when it comes to using mental math, place value, addition and subtraction, and so much more. So today we're going to be talking about building number sense using a 10 frame. So if you are ready, give this video a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's dive in and get started. Hey y'all, my name is Marcy Bernie and I am the teacher author behind SaddleUpForSecondGrade.com where I love helping teachers just like you fall in love with teaching math all over again. And we all know that as teachers, when you love what you're doing, that reflects onto our students as well. So today we're gonna to be talking about 10 frames and how we can use them to build student number sense. So you might be thinking, what is a 10 frame? So maybe you're brand new to teaching and you've never heard this term before. So a 10 frame is a long rectangle that is divided into 10 equal parts. And then you can represent numbers on the 10 frame by filling in the top row first and then moving to the bottom row to represent numbers. 10 frames are such a great mathematical tool because they help our students develop number sense, composing and decomposing numbers, they can help with place value, addition, subtraction, and so much more. One of the reasons why 10 frames are so great is because they provide a visual representation and they show a number value at the same time. Another reason why 10 frames are so important is because 10 is what is known as a friendly or magical number. In first grade and even on into second grade, lots of teachers tend to use the friendly number strategy. And this is going to help your students work with larger numbers over a period of time, especially when we get into higher level place value, addition and subtraction with multi-digit numbers and so much more. So in the younger grades in kinder and in first, we start out with just basic number sense, number recognition using a 10 frame like the one I'm showing here so that they are developing a strong number sense for when they get into the higher grade levels. So this is a 10 frame map. This is an essential tool when it comes to developing number sense. You can actually also use a 20 frame mat as well if you want to work with higher numbers. So one of the first things I do whenever I am introducing a 10 frame and my students are seeing this tool for the first time is that I always create an anchor chart with my students. This is what my anchor chart looks like. And as we are creating our anchor chart together as a class, my students are also keeping one in their math journal and creating it as well. What I like about this is that it allows them to not only be a part of creating the anchor chart together, but by having a matching one in their math journal, they can use it as a visual support so that they can refer back to it throughout the school year. You can find this anchor chart template in my first grade number sense guided math unit, which I will link in the description below this video. So now what I wanna do is I want to share some quick and simple activities that you can implement with your class right away. You could take these ideas and practice them with your students tomorrow if you would like. So these are going to be very simple activities that you can use with a 10 or a 20 frame using materials that you pretty much already have lying around your classroom. So the first activity that I wanna share, I just call it, a t I call it 10 frame flash. What you are going to need is a set of printable 
10 or 20 frame cards. If you own my first grade number sense unit, you can print out your copy here, or you can grab a set of these cards just by doing a simple Google or Pinterest search. 10 frame flash can be used as a quick warm up. It can be used for a whole group mini lesson, a small group lesson, or kids could even play this game with partners during math centers. So this activity is very versatile and it can be used all year long using multiple sets of numbers. So it's very easy to differentiate. Let me show you how it would work. Using your 10 frame flashcards, you are going to quickly flash a card for your students to see. You're gonna hold it there for maybe two or three seconds tops. Now, depending on your students, if you wanna do a little bit longer, you absolutely can. But you are going to flash a card for just a second. Your students are going to have to identify the number shown on their 10 frame, and then they are going to have to recreate the number shown. So what this does is it ha it teaches them to be able to recognize a visual representation quickly and then they have to be able to recreate the image that's on the card. So here we flash the number five. They are going to quickly build the number five out on their 10 frame. You can also do this with 20 frame. As you practice this and your students develop number sense over time, they are going to be able to quickly recognize that when the 10 frame is completely filled up, that it automatically represents the number 10. So instead of them having to count one, two, three, four, and counting each circle individually, over time, they are going to realize that this entire example represents the number 10, so they can quickly identify 10, 11, 12, 13. So as you quickly flash the card for two or three seconds, you're gonna take the card away, and then your students are going to have to recreate what they saw on their 10 frame. And you can give them a couple of seconds to do this. You might want to wait a little bit longer if needed. You could also do this exact same type of activity using different types of number sense cards, such as tally marks, you could use fingers, you could use base 10 blocks, numbers written out in word form, or just a number written out in the standard form. You could flash a die or show them other visual representations. All of these cards you can find inside of my first grade guided math unit. So what you could do is you could take any sort of flash card, you could hold it up for students to see, show it for two or three seconds, then they have to create the visual representation. Or maybe you they do the opposite. Maybe you show them the visual representation and they are having to write the number that is represented. The next activity I wanna share is another really simple one that you could incorporate right away. And it's called roll a 10 frame. All you're going to need is some type of recording sheet or maybe your students are drawing on their whiteboard or they are building the numbers shown using manipulatives on a 10 frame map. So there's lots of different ways that you can do this, but they are going to need um, some sort of 10 frame mat of some kind. And then they are also going to need a die. Now, depending on what numbers you are working on with your students, you can easily differentiate this. You can use a regular six sided die, but just know that obviously they are only going to be working with numbers to six. Now you can also use 10 sided dies. I love these, these are called whiz dice. I get them off of Amazon and what they are, I, you just get a random assortment of different types of dice and they come in all different number sizes. So like this particular one that I have, has numbers one through 10. It even looks like there's an 11 on there. And then this one that I have shows numbers one through 20. So again, by using different types of dice is going to allow for easy differentiation. So let me show you how to play. 
For this activity, I am going to be using the printable from my first grade guided math unit, but you could easily do this using any type of tin frame. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have students roll their die, and then they are going to draw and represent that number on the tin frame. So they could do this using a pencil, they could use a marker, they could build it out using manipulatives, there are lots of different ways that this can be done. So they are going to draw the number shown. And then they are going to write the number in number form. And then they are going to repeat this process as time allows. You could also do this same activity where they roll a dice and then they are building the number out on their 10 frame mat. You could have them, instead of writing it in number form, you could have them write it in word form if you would like. So there's lots of different ways that this can be differentiated. The next 10 frame activity I want to share with you is perfect for small groups. It can also be used as a quick warm up at your small group table and it's called spot it and mark it. So what you're gonna need is a set of 10 or 20 frame cards and then each student is going to need some sort of marker um, and you want them to be maybe um, a different color or just different from each other so that they don't get mixed up. So if you're, I'm gonna use linking cubes as an example. So I would just make sure that every student had a different color cube. You can also use paper clips. There's um, lots of different small manipulatives that you can use with this. So let me show you how to play. To play Spotted and Market, you are going to take your 10 and 20 frame cards, depending on the level you're working on with your students, this can easily be differentiated. So you are going to take your cards and you're gonna spread them out all over your small group table. You are going to call out a number. So for example, I might say the number seven. The first student to spot the card that represents the number seven and mark it with their manipulative is the winner and they get to keep that card then the process is going to repeat. Then I might say 18. The first student to spot the card that represents 18 and mark it with their marker gets to keep it. At the end, when your time is up for however long you might be doing this, maybe just five, um, five quick minutes or maybe even longer than that, then the student that has the most cards at the end of the game wins. And the last 10 frame activity that I want to show you is another favorite. One of the way or one of the reasons why I like this one so much because it's very versatile. It can be used for number sense and number recognition, but it can also be used for addition and subtraction as well. And I like to call this one shake, rattle and count. You're going to need a 10 frame mat. You're also going to want your students to have a set of 10 two colored counters and you want them to be placed inside of a cup or a small bucket or something that they can easily shake and dump their counters out onto their mat. So let me show you how this activity works. So for this example, I'm going to be using this recording sheet from my first grade number sense unit. You could also easily have your students do this on whiteboards as well. I'm gonna put this to the side for just a second. And the first thing you are going to do is have your students place all 10 counters inside of their cup. They are going to shake up the cup and they are going to dump all of the counters out onto their mat. And I am going to have them sort their counters by red and yellow. So, and it doesn't matter which color they do first, maybe we put all the red counters first. Maybe you want your students to do yellow. That is completely up to you. So if we are doing this number, this activity from a number sense perspective, you could have students then redraw, recreate 
their counters by drawing the colors on their recording sheet. So they might have had one, two, they had six red and four yellow. And then maybe you have them identify how many counters are red, how many are yellow, and they are going to write that number in the box. So for example, on this recording sheet, it asked students how many are red, then they would identify that number. Then it repeats. So then your students are gonna take all of the counters again, put them back inside the cup, and they are going to repeat the process. Now let me show you how you can do this activity using addition or subtraction. So once they have shaken up their counters and they dump them out on to their mat, Then they can use this to practice addition facts to the sum of 10. And this is a great visual representation because the two colors would help them distinguish the add-ins. So you could have them write on a dry erase board, on a sheet of paper, inside their math journal, whatever, however you would like for them to do it. Then they could write the addition sentence that matches. So let's say for example, they could write that there are, we're going to do red plus yellow. There are six red plus four yellow equals 10. You could have them write the turnaround fact and write four plus six equals 10. This could also be done with subtraction. So they can see here that they have completed their 10 frame. So they could write 10 minus four. Then they could use the manipulatives and physically take them away. How many are left? 10 minus four equals six. And there you have it. There was five quick and easy 10 frame activities that you can implement tomorrow. If you are looking for more 10 frame resources, I'm also gonna put a link in the description to a blog post where I share a lot more information with you guys. And then you can also find the link to my first grade number sense unit as well. If you have any questions, you guys leave me a comment below and I will see you guys in the next video.